After the war, a total of 62 Semovente survived, consisting of 50 M4175-18s and 12 M4275-18s that were reused by the Italian army from 1946 to November 1955. They began to be withdrawn in 1953, when the newer and more powerful M47 Patton arrived from the United States. In 1955 they were completely withdrawn from service, but remained in reserve until 1965, when they were scrapped. 21 of them were repaired by the Turin Arsenal between 1945 and 1950. All the vehicles were repainted in NATO green and received more powerful N19 radio equipment of Canadian production. The Semovente 75-18 self-propelled guns suffered from a series of problems during their time in service. Firstly, the small quantity of ammunition carried only 44 rounds, required the close support of vulnerable supply vehicles. The range and power of the cannon were lacking compared to allied self-propelled guns, such as the Priest or the Sexton, or the German Vespa, limiting its effectiveness during indirect support missions. Thirdly, they did not have a coaxial machine gun, leaving them vulnerable to infantry attacks. Fourth, the obsolete riveted hull was weaker and heavier than a welded one. Finally, the suspension did not allow for great speed. The M40 command version was an M13-40 tank with the turret removed and the hole covered by four hatches. It was equipped with the usual Magneti Marelli RF-1CA and a Magneti Marelli RF-2CA radio with two inverters and eight Magneti Marelli 3NF-12-1-24 batteries. The dual 8x59mm Breda 38 machine guns in the hull were retained, along with 1,560 rounds in 5 racks. A signal gun with 45 rounds was kept inside the vehicle. Each battery had 8 Semovente self-propelled guns and 2 command tanks. This version was succeeded by the M41 command tank on the hull of the M14-41. It was armed with a 13.2x96mm Breda model 1931 heavy naval machine gun with 37 magazines. One Breda 38 machine gun with 504 rounds was mounted in an anti-aircraft position. The radio equipment remained unchanged. The last version, the M42 command vehicle on the M15-42 hull, was meant for aerial communication and therefore equipped with a standard RF-1CA station and the RF-3M radio. This had a greater signal range than the RF-2CA radio device. The ammunition stowage for the main machine gun remained unchanged, but the ammunition for the Breda Model 1931 machine gun was reduced to 20 magazines. Another self-propelled gun version was the M40-75-32, a prototype Semovente armed with a 75-32 Model 1937 gun with better anti-tank performance mounted on the M40 hull. This version remained a prototype and was replaced by an improved version on the M42 hull with a 75-34 cannon which needed less work to adapt for the confined space of the SPG's hull. The longer barrel of the 75-34 along with the more powerful ammunition increased the anti-tank performance. The Semovente 75-18 on the M40, M41 and M42 hulls did show that a self-propelled gun with better armament, armor and more ammunition on board was needed. This led to the design of a new Semovente M43 hull, 10cm lower and 20cm wider than the M42, with the frontal armor plate 75mm thick and with more internal space for ammunition. Another design, the Semovente M43 105-25, using the new hull, fired rounds that were more powerful than the 75mm of the 75-18 with its 105mm gun, but could only carry 48 shells. The German Stuch 42, armed with a similar cannon, carried only 36 rounds. Even the Semovente M43 75-46 transported 42 rounds, but its rounds were significantly longer than those of the 75-18 howitzer. The Semovente M43 75-34, produced in very few numbers, carried 65 rounds. They were very similar in size to the rounds of the German 7.5cm KWK-40 tank cannon mounted on the German Panzer IV. Out of the 288 vehicles produced, 18 Semovente 75-18 vehicles have survived to this day. There are two M40 75-18s, 
one at the Musée des Blindés in Saumo, and the second damaged, shown at the El Alamein War Museum in El Alamein, Egypt. 11 Samoventi 75-18 survived, seven used as monuments in barracks in several cities, such as Lecce, Rome, Maniago, and Vercelli. The other four are exhibited in museums, the first at the U.S. Army Ordnance Training and Heritage Center in Fort Lee, Virginia, while the others are exhibited in Italy, one at the Museo della Otomelara in La Spezia, one in the Museo Storico della Motorizzazione Militare in Cecignola near Rome, and the last M41 is exhibited at the Museo di Guerra per la Pace Diego de Henriquez in Trieste. Even four M42 18 survived the war. One of them became a monument at the Babini Barracks at Belinzago Novarese, headquarters of the 4th Tank Regiment. One is on display at the Museo dell'Aviazione in Rimini, while the last two are on display in monuments against the war at Lonate Pozzolo and Bergamo. Only one example of a command semovente survived. It is an M41 on display at the Museo Storico della Motorizzazione Militare in Cecignola. Only two vehicles are still in running condition. These are two 75-18 M41s that have been restored. One is at the Museo Storico della Motorizzazione Militare and the second is the one at the Museo della Otomelara. The first, however, is equipped with the Canadian radio system mounted on the vehicles used after the Second World War by the Italian Army, while the second, having been restored in the same factory that 60 years before had built it, was repaired and repainted in 2008. The Semovente 75-18 was initially developed as an infantry support vehicle and to support the tanks but, having proved to be able tank destroyers, they became indispensable to fight against enemy armored vehicles. But their production failed to supply sufficient vehicles to the Italian army. The transformation of the medium tank hulls into Semovente could only start in 1942 with deliveries in 1943, when the African campaign was practically lost and Italy was heading towards serious internal political problems. Nonetheless, the variants of the Semovente 75-18 served until the end of the war with the various parties fighting in Italy, and even after the war, well into the early Cold War, although their utility at the time was doubtful at best. They provided valuable infantry support and some anti-tank capabilities to the Italian Royal Army at a time when it was in dire need of competent armored vehicles. 